If you are like me, you probably like Amiibo. A lot. Fuck you, Villager, for being the most expensive fucking Amiibo in the entire series. And fuck you too, Marth and Wee Fit Trainer, for being part of the fucking holy grail of Trinity that I could barely fucking get. And fuck all of you three for being some of the most expensive pieces of fucking plastic that I have ever bought. In fact, fuck most of Wave 3 for being almost unable to be found here in Mexico and being expensive as fuck. As a matter of fact, fuck every single one of you guys for being fucking toys that I'm buying as a fucking slave, and now I can't fucking quit. Ugh, fuck my life. Alright, never mind. Except for you, villager. You will always be by my side. Shh. Alright, who am I kidding? Fuck this. Hey guys, what's up? This is Chaos Bender here again for yet another video, and welcome to a very special amiibo training video. I'm going to be making this as fast as I can. I just had a couple of takes of this video, and it was uh, fairly long, and I really don't want this video to be really, really long. So, as the title suggests, I'm going to be teaching you three ways of training your amiibo. Now, this is not aimed towards a mechanical or technical play. This is only going to show you three ways that you can train your amiibo. To be more specific, I'm going to be detailing this after this message. Be please be aware that I'm not the best uh, Super Smash Brothers player in the world, nor am I the worst, but a lot of people seem to uh, think that way, because on my level 50 amiibo fights, the one where I was playing with Fox, uh, I had so many people raging at me, uh, the fact that I am really bad at the game. Um, you know, the amiibo itself had a lot of equipment, and, you know, I could barely do anything. So please mm, keep in mind that I'm not, you know, super good at the game. I've never uh, claimed to be really good at Super Smash Brothers. So, um, yeah, just keep that in mind. Alright, so let's do this. Now, if you are like me, um, you probably, if you probably have a lot of amiibo, uh, you want them uh, all to be level 50 in Super Smash Bros. Uh, 4. Um, if you want to use it on your Wii U or the recently uh, released new 3DS, that's up to you. But these are three ways to teach them, uh, to, to get them to level 50 if you want that type of completion. So let's do this. Method number one, as I'd like to call it, is a personal trainer. Now this is going to uh, assure you that you're going to be getting the best out of your amiibo and that you're going to be having either a really good uh, training partner or someone to, you know, just uh, practice with or if you want to do 2v2s or show it off to your friends, that's going to be really good. Now this method involves you grabbing a level 1 amiibo and training him from level 1 all the way up to level 50 yourself. Now this can depend on time, now you can actually do stock or uh, time battles and it is going to, it is only going to be um, varying in the amount of time. If you have 99 stocks then you cannot stop, uh, you know, until that uh, battle is actually over. If you play time then, you know, that's actually a lot better in my opinion. But if you grab your best characters in Super Smash Bros, you are going to be passing on your moves to your personal amiibo. Now this is really, really good if you want your amiibo to get uh, maybe as good as you or just around the same level. So if you want to train or if you want to give him some more equipment to make it a lot more difficult for you and uh, learn from that, that is actually very, very good. Now this method is really, really slow because it takes several hours to get a level 1 amiibo all the way up to level 50 by uh, on your own. So just make sure to keep that in mind. Method number two, I like to call it the Pro Amiibo Trainer. Now, the only different thing from this and the previous one is that you are not going to be training your Amiibo, but rather your level 50 Amiibo, which I'm going to be referring to as the Pro Amiibo to not spam level 50. So what this means is that you're going to be going to Smash and you're going to put your Pro Amiibo and a level 1 Amiibo that you want to train as well. Now, this is uh, recommended if you have not more than, you know, say three or four Amiibo, but if you have one pro amiibo, this is going to be very helpful if you also want them to be at a very high level. So if we assume that you trained your level 50 amiibo, or pro amiibo, sorry, uh, the, uh, the best that you could, and it, it, he inherited your skills and moves, uh, we can assume that it is going to pass on those moves to the newly trained amiibo. So what you want to do, this is uh, really... This is still slow, but it is less time-consuming. What do I mean by this? You don't have to be on your console teaching your amiibo all of your moves. You can rely on your pro amiibo, the one you personally trained, 
uh, to teach everything that he has learned from you, and uh, that way he can reach level 50 at a very good level. Now, this is not extremely recommended if you want the best possible amiibo that you can get, but it's still pretty good if you want to save some time. So you don't have to be at your console, and your best amiibo is going to be teaching all of your moves that he has learned from you. But if you don't have a lot of time, or if you don't mind your amiibo to not be as pro as you or your other trained amiibo, this takes us to method number three. This method I like to call the bulk training. Now, as I said before, if you are like me, uh, you probably have more than 8 amiibo. And, uh, you know, not to be embarrassed, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I've done it myself, obviously. Um, but this is basically the fastest way to get all of your amiibo to level 50. However, it is going to maybe have them at a very low level, or maybe not as high as even the amiibo that your pro amiibo trained. So, I just gave you the order in, you know, from best to worst on how your amiibo is going to be skilled. Now, this third method, as you can see on screen right here, I'm going to be grabbing the 8 level 1 amiibo that I reset, and this is going to uh, put them onto, well, obviously, 8-player uh, Smash, and you can just uh, select any uh, stage that you want, it, it's basically going to give them, like, a lot of uh, free time on their own. And uh, what you want to do is put 99 stock for all 8 of them, and you can leave for a couple of hours, and when you come back, you're going to be greeted with a very nice surprise. Now, I didn't actually do this uh, the first time that I maxed all of my amiibo, but I was really surprised to look uh, at the fact that a lot of them reached level 50 on the 99 stock battle. Uh, I actually thought there was only going to be... Uh, like, they were only gonna be at, like, level 30 max, or and that I wouldn't have to do another one to get them to level, like, 45 or so, and then do a final one to just get them all to level 50. So I was really surprised that a lot of them actually got level 50, and that, uh, just basically all of them got a really high level. So that's really good. Now, the last thing that we are going to be talking about is the equipment. Now, after all of your amiibo have been fighting for a long time, uh, they get uh, not hungry, but you can actually feed them equipment. And this takes us to my last point, farming equipment. Once you have 8 amiibo, this is the best way to get a lot of equipment without doing a single thing. So you want to have 8 amiibo battling for as long as you can. You can leave your Wii uh, turned on when you leave to school, when you're doing homework, if you go to the gym, when you're eating, uh, when you're playing some other video games, and they are going to do the work for you. As you can see right now on screen, I left my uh, already veteran amiibo uh, all level 50 to fight, and then when I came back, this is all of the equipment that they gave me. It is really, really good if you want to um, get a lot of equipment for rares and shit, and uh, this is just a really, really good thing to feed all of your amiibo, and that is going to be really good for, you, for your custom characters. Just to close this video, I'm going to be telling you about the equipment, uh, that is if you, if you please. Uh, so, as you can see, right here on screen, I'm going to be trying to get uh, to get this synced up, because obviously I'm doing this uh, post-commentary. So, there's going to be three types, well, what I like to think, uh, three types of equipment. There are the ones that are going to give you uh, positive uh, effects, negative uh, e effects, and the standard ones. Uh, sorry for the stutter. So, the ones which give you positive effects are going to give you really, really uh, reduced, like for example, if you have a defensive item with a positive effect, it is going to give you not a lot of defense, and that is going to highly, highly decrease your speed stat. Uh, this is kind of to counter the effect, uh, the, the good effect and the, the low defense uh, uh, that it gives you for it not to be overpowered. There are going to be uh, also bad effects, which, uh, as you can see on screen, I'm going to uh, pull uh, some of those up right now. They are going to give you some really bad stats, like, uh, you know, have healing from food, you don't uh, respawn with invincibility and shit. However, these are really good if you want your amiibo to be extremely strong and not to, to decrease their stats by a whole lot. So what's going to happen with this is that you are going to have extremely increased stats for one, uh, like, for example, if I do an attack one, let's say if it gives you uh, plus 60 attack and it only decreases, like, uh, 20 defense or 15, it is going to give you a very, very uh, bad effect, which it is going to play a big role in the battle. And finally, the standard uh, equipment that I 
like to call it, are the ones that don't have any effects, but that they give you not a lot of, uh, like for example, if we have a speed, uh, it let's say it increases around 12 speed, but it decreases 10 attack. So you would need to feed a lot of those to your amiibo in order to uh, just get a really high stat, and if you don't want uh, either good or bad effects to, uh, you know, affect your stats uh, even further, so that's just pretty much it. Uh, and basically that's all I have for you guys today, uh, just be sure to leave any comment below if you have any question about this, I would be really really happy to, uh, to answer it, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it, hopefully you guys enjoyed this short video, so you guys have a great day, take care of yourself, and until the next video which is going to be the Sonic Generations Let's Play, I will see you then.